Hey guys, just sitting out here on my porch. I just ate some tuna, a tuna sandwich. I just journaled, also drinking some coffee. I've recently been really into coffee instead of tea. I've been putting cinnamon in my coffee grounds and I'm obsessed. Anyways, any, any who. If you didn't know, I do make candles. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me this week while I do all the little things I do. Today, I need to paint stickers, I need to paint the candle jars, and I need to prepare the orders that I'm shipping out tomorrow. I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit more and then I'll check back in when I start working. for the day i really like these earrings with this outfit but it's just like too much for me i'm very sensitive to jewelry not in like the terms of like my skin but it's like the um uh, sensations i guess i don't wear rings i don't wear bracelets i don't wear i don't wear jewelry that often i already told you a little bit about what i'm doing today but there's also like some little tasks that i didn't mention i'm a wick testing this candle i bought 90 of what the fuck what am i even saying right now i just got distracted by all that i bought 90 i bought 90 used cleaned candle jars off this lady on Facebook marketplace. I reuse candle jars to make my own beeswax candles and I paint clouds on the outside of the jar. So like my business name is Cloudy Candle Co and they're made for cloudy days. By lighting a candle or creating like a new smell in your environment, it can make you feel like euphoric or just like happier. I really base my brand around mental health and um, reducing, reusing, recycling. I just put new wicks in this one, so I need to heat gun this and then test it. So let's do all that. So it's pretty much level. It's dried. I'm going to trim the wigs. Let's head to my bathroom to wig test. I always wick test in my bathroom because there's no chance of drafts or anything else that could affect the way the candle burns. Wick testing lasts a total of four hours. The two pieces of information that I look for from these tests are how many ounces it burned in the four hours and also if the wax pool reached the edge in the first two hours. And I always set alarms to help remind me when to check on the candle flame. Multitasking is my favorite thing to do, so while the candle burns, I'm gonna work on other tasks like painting stickers. It's about two hours in. This is definitely the wick I'll be using. This is Lime Margarita fragrance candle with two of these green aura crystals. This one is Blackberry Amber and it's got some amethyst tumbles in there. I do paint the jars so 
I will be covering this up. Last but not least, cherry tobacco. These burn for about 52 hours, 53 hours, I think. Let me do some math. Oh, 16 ounces, I think it's 53 hours. So 12 ounces. Like if you follow the candle care instructions that I give with every order, these will burn for 40 hours. So it is 10.44 p.m. Um, I am in the mood to paint. These are the two paint brushes that I use to paint clouds. So I have two colored greens. I'm gonna do like an ombre effect. Ombre, ombre. just finishing up these shipping labels and then I'm going to be getting ready for bed. <laughs>